Ian, um, tell us about bringing Stephen back and what you think he's going to bring to the team. Well, I think he's, he's undoubted experience, um, his qualities that he's still got. He's got good energy, good legs in the, in the, uh, in the midfield there. Um, with the injuries that we've, we've had to contend with, it was a, a void that was missing from the squad. Somebody to, to go and break the lines, to, to go and help the, the front men. Uh, he's got great knowledge of the game and he's a, he's a winner. He's achieved uh, at, a, at a good level, highest level. And um, you know, when, when it became clear that he was available and a chance to bring him in to train with us and then bring him into the, into the squad, it was a, a no-brainer for me and I'm, 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 I'm delighted that he's, he's the first signing. Is he match fit? Could he play tomorrow? Yeah, he's a fit boy. He's a fit boy and, and he's been playing games and um, the, the temperature at Celtic Park compared to, compared to India may be a little bit different, but um, no, he's uh, somebody that, that I've got no, no problem that if, if asked to go and start the game, he could go on last. He's done it, so, and he's obviously spent a successful time at yeah. Celtic as well. Do you feel that the squad needs experience at the moment? There is experience, yeah. but, but um, you know, there's, the experienced ones are injured as well. Um, so that you know, some young pl players being played, some young lads being brought into the squad, and they need people to be, be able to look up to uh, for guidance during certain parts of the game. Um, and and Stephen will will give us that, and, and and give the young boys that opportunity to uh, to be someone that you go and go and emulate, go and go and co go and copy, go and go and be a leader. Yeah. So, in terms of um, the rest of. Well, 13 days left. Are you hoping that you might be able to bring in anybody, anybody else? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Um, I'm working. <laughs> it seems most of the day you're on the phone making different phone calls. You think one one door opens, all of a sudden it closes, and uh, it's, I think it'll start to to hot up. Uh, why do Why do you fellas get the uh, you know all the, the headlines on deadline day? And because towards the end, squads are, are pretty much made up. Then people have got their their players in they want, and they then suddenly release the players that they. You know they want to let out on loan, whether it be a young player to get experience or, or, or even more experienced ones that you think, yeah, they, they, they could they could do a job. So um, if if the right person came up for the right price, the right right finances, um, and and I think you can go and add add to the squad, then there's a chance of going and doing it. It's a suggestion that um, you might there might be a swap involving Ian Bigers and, and James Dean. I heard that. Yes. Yeah. Is there anything yeah. in that? No, pure speculation. No, there was a, it was a phone call from from an agent. Would I be interested? Um, and and I, you know, it was it was one of those where leave it with me. So it was it's you know it's it's come from it's come from an agent somewhere. I'm sure. Is Ian's contract up at the end of the season? Ian Vigas. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Is, is it something yeah. you would kind of consider in terms of? You know, we've seen it in a, a few situations that you get the, the opportunity to cash in, so to speak, rather than just losing the something. Well, he's not fit, and I've not seen him. So you know, why would somebody bring him in for a start? So again, it's it's a, a question that, that can't be answered really till a, a player's fit. I haven't seen the, the lad play, um, and, and I understand what qualities he could bring if he's fit. And um, so, do I allow him to, to go out of the building, or do I keep him here for, for a squad that's you know that's that's struggling with injuries? I know so, you spoke in the past sorry about being creative in terms of you know maybe moving things around in order to bring mm -hmm. some in. You found ways of doing that yet? Is it going to be? Well, again, they're they're, they're ongoing. There's, um, you know, there aren't too many that you, you know, that I, uh, I can go on and able to to let out um, to to try and generate funds. Um, there's one or two young lads that I've had inquiries about, which is great because the young boys need experience as well. Um, are they better off playing in our under 20s and and being on the bench, and being in and around it, or if they get regular games elsewhere? And that's that's decisions we're making. Uh, on a daily basis, but you know when you when you're as tight with numbers as what we are at the moment, there's very very few chances of uh, manoeuvring people around. Can I just clarify? Is Ian Pearson's international teams came through. Came through this morning, yeah. so he's uh, he's he's available in uh, in the squad for tomorrow. What about Ross Williams from Morecambe? He's another name that's been linked to. Yeah, we had him for for a couple of days, and um, you know the type of player that he is. Um, from from what I saw in those couple of days, and obviously my knowledge of him down there, it was it was good of Morecambe to to let him come up here, um, and and again something that's still ongoing, and um, you know it's we'll, we'll see where we go. See Can I ask you how much you look forward to the Celtic Park? 
Yeah, for, for, for a player, for a manager, for, for anybody involved in the game, to go to the, the best stadiums, to go and pit your wits against the, um, the bigger clubs is always a, a challenge and one that you, you relish. I think we'll go there with, with you guys and the, and the pundits you know, saying that home win is on the cards, but um, I don't mind being the underdog. I don't mind having a mindset and, and the players go there with a, you know, we'll, we'll give it our all and, and we'll see what we get from it. And, um, you know, as long as we work hard and we are compact and we, we work as a unit, as a group together, then I think we'll have, we'll have chances to, to go and break and, and, and cause them problems. And okay, ironically, this season, you know, with, with the form being poorer than it has been recently, that the team actually got the first point they had at Celtic Park in ages, you know, this season, does that give kind of food for optimism? Yeah, and you, yeah, you remind the players of that, that they've, you know, they've, they've played against these players and, and you know, they've, they've dealt with it and they, they've caused problems and, you know, I think it was a, uh, a late penalty to, to be a leveller and, and you've got to draw on those experiences, those, those positive experiences that there's no inferior complex, you're not going on the pitch to, to be walked over. If you put your you you shift in and and you know you give your all. Who knows what you can achieve? Have you watched the match tape from the previous game against Celtic? You got the draw at Celtic Park. And mm. Is there any strategy you would take from that game? Well, again, I've I've, I've come in and I've you know I try and win every game. Um, it depends how a game goes and, and the momentum shifts during a, a game and and how that how your your game plan goes ahead. But we, we've certainly spoken about. A couple of ways of, of going and certain scenarios. That's how I like like the players to, to have the knowledge of um, certain certain areas, certain times. And um, if we if we go and do that, if it, uh, if the game allows us to go and do that, and we, we get a foothold in the game, then uh, you know hopefully we can we can create a few chances. Celtic are obviously massive club in Scotland. Do, do they have a weakness? Have you identified that? Well, I think Hamilton went there and, and won one nil. And uh, Ross County recently got a draw against them. Um, they're fighting on a, a few fronts. So you know, I haven't spoken about players-wise what individuals are going to go up against. I think they've got a way of playing. Um, they've had a you know a certain number of players who have, who have played the majority of the games, but they could bring in any number of players to to play. So to, to pick out individuals and, and try and second guess what what their team will be would probably be wrong of me. But um, you know, I think there's there are certain ways of uh, of breaking them down, and and certain areas that if we get it right on the day, you know, we can we can surprise them. Do you see this game as winnable? Why not? If I'm going in as a as a coach, as a, a defeatist, yeah, you know, we might we might come away with a a one 0 defeat, two one, and I'll be happy with it. And I'd be I'd be in the wrong seat. No, I, I go into every game believing we can win it. Um, you two that any way you want to. But because um, I'm sure it will, because my first comments here about winning the league were, were probably taken in that way as well. But um, no, I feel as though we can we can win any game, and if you set up right, and if you if you go and give of your all as a player, then uh, you know you, you give yourself a chance. Do you feel that in your I mean having been here a few weeks now that your ideas are beginning to get across? And I mean, how much I don't know how much you're planning on changing in terms of the way that this team is evolving. But do you feel that your message has got? Yeah, I, th I think. I think in general, you know, I think the players know know what, what what's to expect, you know, what what, what is expected of them. Um, the frustrating thing is at times you just you can't get a settled settled formation or a settled side, you know, because it's it's ever changing. And and you know, I know Stuart had that um, that conundrum as well. It's it's difficult, you know, a back four, for instance. You know, if you, if you've generally got a, a similar setup as a back four, they get used to playing with each other, their strengths, their weaknesses, how they can cover for each other. You know, you, you get that relationship between different different partnerships. And we've not been able to get get that as yet, and it's uh, so that, that's difficult to contend with. But we're working hard on the training ground. The players are working ever so hard. They're trying to take on on board what we'd like to what we'd like to implement. And um, you know, you can't ask them any more. Are you hopeful that the, <clears throat> the signing of Stephen Pearson may attract other high quality players to the club? Yeah, I think I think if you bring people in like that, it's um, yeah. You know, it does give you give you a, a certain amount of uh, credit for, for as a football club, and, and that we're, you know, we're 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 a club that that you know is it should be evolving. We'd like to like it to evolve, and, and we want to get want to get better. And it's my remit to try and improve all areas of the of the football club if possible, uh, and we're trying to do that. Um, 
and if it means that that, that entices uh, better players into the club, um, you know, at, at the right times, then then so be it. And hopefully, yeah, someone who I think is quite quite high profile in Scotland um, to come back to to where he was. He says that the club's changed in, in many ways from when he was here before, which you would expect, um, and, and, and changed for the better. Having a postponed game at the weekend, was that in some ways a blessing in disguise for you? Because it gave you a first chance to spend some time with your players, get the group together. How did you use that time? Yeah, and it, it, it did in that respect. But um, again, you have to go and contend with all, all factors. And the weather's a, a factor as well. So getting the, the right area, we, um, we've made made of it what we can and we, we've tried to prepare in it the best way as, as possible and, and I think that goes the same for, for everybody you, you know, especially around this area I think everyone's trying to get, get the same training there I think Ravens Craig's been, been used by several clubs and um, you know it's trying to find those little slots in, in areas we rearranged a game yesterday at, uh, at Stenhouse Mio, which and we trained there it was brilliant for us but it was, it was something that we we didn't plan for yesterday morning, but we, we went and did it. So that's what we're, you know, you're up against that and you're always trying to fight against the elements. Well, that's something that Tommy Wright has actually criticised the um, too many midweek games that we played through winter. And do you think that that's a problem playing so many games through winter and, I mean, and bad for fans perhaps? Well, I, can, I come from somewhere that's used to playing, you know, a lot of, quite a lot of games. And as a player, you get used to that and it's just one of those knowledge, you, you, you know, it does become uh, one of those where you, you go from, from game rest and recovery, you're on to the next game and, and, and very little time. So you make of what you can. Um, the period that we, uh, the weekend that we, we weren't playing, we didn't waste that and, and we utilised that to try and try and get some, some good work into the players and in preparation for, for the next two games, which are, you know, they're difficult games. Did that allow you to get any of your injured players back? Um, I'm trying to think who's, who's that and who's... Moore, yeah, there's, there's a... The, uh, Ramsden and Moore have, have trained regularly on um, throughout that week. Um, Hammy has trained the last couple of days. Vigas has not trained. So Hamill, Ramsden and Moore are in contention for tomorrow. They have, they have to be. Yeah, they've yeah. trained the last couple of days. We'll, we'll have to see getting nearer nearer the time. So uh, yeah, and, and decision wise, how we're going to go and play. But people like um, Hamill has been missed on that left side. We've spoken about that. Craig Moore, I haven't seen him play competitively, but in, his energy is uh, is infectious to everybody. So you know you want as many players of that ilk to to be at your disposal.